Mail day, ringside collectibles. We'll do the one, we'll do the two, and then we'll do a three for the lucky, right? And what do I mean by that? Simple. It is right now, it is ringside collectibles, and it is an unboxing right here for the W. H F Figgy Fam. And that's the cool thing, man. When you've been doing this for as long as we have, you will come to be a one-handed figure on Boxer. Maybe the left side won't come out, but that's when you start pulling it. That's when you start shaking it and unveiling what Ringside has brought here before you. Starting up the tippy top. We're going to get it in, and we're going to get it straight to right there with Kenny Omega. Yeah! We got the brand new Unmatched Collection, and we got the full series, man, right there. You have Kenny Omega letting you know to head on over to WrestlingFigures.com. Use discount code HERO if you want to save on Adam Cole, Kenny Omega, Young Bucks, first time Kyle O'Reilly. Yeah! We got Brandon Cutler and Adam Copeland, also known as the Rated R Superstar. On this day, we got new figgies. We got Edge for the first time in the line. Oh, yeah! And I'm not talking about Mattel. I am talking about the good family over there at Jazzwares. 1010. 2023 Adam Copeland made a return quite like no other. Actually, that wasn't the return, but you guys know what the hell I'm talking about. We got the jacket. We got the vest. I cannot wait to get that one open, man. That's going to be insanity. Speaking of insanity, we got Nick. We got Matt. No, we got Matt later on. We got Nick first. WHF, slow your damn roll. I know you're loving that bright orange. I know you want to see the young bucks doing their fine work, but we can't do it up unless if we get both bucks up. Before we do, though, Let's throw it up, because we got Adam Page. No, Adam Cole, get out of here. And Hangman Page is over there. No, Hero Fix, there is no damn Hangman Page. The only Adam here is Adam Cole, baby. Yeah. Loving this set, you guys. Pretty damn cool. Also, that introduction to the brand new championship. W A. No, is it WHF? It should be a WHF, Biggie Bell, bro. If it's not, let's talk about Matt, because we got the other half. We got one half of the greatest tag team. Go in the comments right now. Do you guys think that the Young Bucks could potentially hold that title as one of the best tag teams of all time? I don't know, man. I feel like this Unmatched series is going to be able to assist us with that answer. If not, we're going to get this man right here. Kyle O'Reilly. The man's like, yo, WHF, where's my rest of my game? Well, he's got most of it. I mean, I feel like he's missing a couple of bits. But you know what? Once we get the full in-depth review of this set, it's going to make sense. Why all these right now are going to get cracked open. That's right. Stay tuned to the end of the video if you want to see. Especially that of the Rated R Superstar, bro. Come on, Kenny. Let's get the cleaner. Let's get the cleaner. Here we have and all six figures out of the packaging. We're going to start out with Edge. This man, this guy has been well overdue, at least as far as my jazz wear action figure lineup this has been the missing piece and now we can finally compare it because keep in mind this is not the only time we've seen edge we saw him in metal we saw a couple of releases one of my personal favorites still has to be the ultimate edition custom fix-up that we ended up doing on the channel so this is based off the longer jacket design this is the shorter jacket design and the main difference you'll notice too right out the gate it's gonna be height difference man like this brand new figure in scale compared to like any other figure that we've seen for Edge, this is scaling quite a bit taller. The guy's about six foot five, so given a stature, I don't know, man. I guess it's in scale with the Jazzwear figures, but if you're planning on mixing it in with your WWE figures, your best bet is going to be do a head swap, maybe it's a Mattel figure, but it don't fit on there quite right. But we'll get into that more in just a sec. Getting into the accessories, apart from the actual jacket that we will see with the figure, will be interchanging hands. Now you'll get the signature pose on the figure itself, and then you're going to get uh, my open as well as one that's going to have the full black wrist tape sculpted onto it so both are mic open and then the both that are on the figure it's going to be the pose that he loves to do which you know in its own right i feel like we were missing maybe like a punch in hand i think that would have been cool but look i ain't complaining bro given that edge is now part of the series i feel like the likeness too it's definitely one up versus like what mattel did like this one was great even though i got a slight misprint on mine but Jazzwares, dude, it's got, like, this likeness quite like no other. And I'm not sure if it's because of, like, the skin tone, giving it that effect. But I feel like the lighter skin tone doesn't really quite work as well. Now, once we see it right up alongside the Jazzwares figure. I do like the sculpting, too. I feel like the hair was done upright. Like, this is Edge 
in the later days. You can't expect perfection, man. You can't have the long dreads that the man used to have back in the old Attitude Era and expect to bring a Niner. Sure, in its own right, though, it'll bring a pretty good rating, though, once we get down to the nitty-gritty, and we won't get that answer. Unless if we take off the jacket, we find out what's going on in the back, and we do got all this sculpted. If you guys are curious, like, bro, is all these designs that we're seeing here before us, are they all sculpted? They are. This is the right tooling that we were looking for within the jacket, and I feel like Jazzwear did it pretty good. It is a soft, pliable material, too. If you guys are curious, like, how difficult it comes off, I think the elbow pads might get in the way, but I think once we go around that fact, I'm pretty sure... We'll get the true answer right there, how the figure will look when it comes down to the torso. And I do like it, but at the same time, it's kind of almost suffering from the same syndrome that we did see Jeff Jarrett. If you guys remember the toy review that we did unveil about a week or so ago, this kind of had the same thing going on. The lower half has a darker tone, and then the upper half has a lighter tone. Now, this may very well be my figure, so if you guys have gotten this in the mail yet, let me know in the comments. I feel like this is turning to be like a regular thing, which is, you know, in its own right, it's like a step back. And check this out, too. You guys look at the uh, wrist strap over here on the left. You can see a lot of it just fading away like this ain't supposed to be that way, bro. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right there, but nonetheless, the QC issues, you guys know Jazzwear. They need to step up here, bro. I feel like there's a couple of things that they could definitely benefit within the figure. Now, backside, not much going on, but you will get that signature sun tattoo on the left shoulder bit. Now, as far as the tights, I do like that. You can see the Copeland design coming right across the skull. Up top, we got the letter A, and then in the middle right there, center crotch piece, we got the skull with the two lightning bolts, bringing it together similar to what you're seeing right here on the sides, except in smaller font. As far as the knee pads, it is an open knee pad design, which is pretty cool because I know when it came down to Mattel, a lot of the times they just actually did the black and, or sorry, they did the color up front and then they just painted the knee pads solid black. So they actually went in there and did the back right there, which, you know, that's how you do it, bro. You can't do halvesies. Like, if you're going to do halvesies on your first return right here in an AEW figure, it's not a return hero fix. It's a debut, bro. Look, I was on saying you got to bring a solid. And I got, I still got to stick with a nine. Like, going anything further beyond that, I think I would just be a little bit too generous with the figure. But, yes, love the jacket. Love the options right there. Oh, yeah. And for those that are wondering, like, Hero Fix, how does that scan look on there? Well, I'll go ahead and show you. I know you guys are curious, so I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. We'll pop off the Mattel. We'll get the Ultimate Edition. And it might not fit on there, but we're going to try. You know, we got to get a little push. We got to get a little shove, shove. So that's about as far as it goes. So you can see the gapage. There is a lot of gapage. So, like, if you're talented enough and you can actually Dremel and do stuff like that, this would actually look beautiful. On a metal figure. But again, it's not really designed, bro. It ain't cut. It ain't got the right skin tone. And it sure as heck ain't doing it right here the way that you're getting it with the jazz wear. But yeah, still a solid niner. Now, Kenny Omega, I want to bring the cleaner up here, you guys. Second favorite figure. Maybe the first. I don't know, you guys. Like, I, again, it's missing a couple of bits. I feel like accessories. It's a little bit lackluster. Interchanging hands. You are going to get the signature posing finger hand. And you get full open, and then you'll get mic open right here for both hands for the left as well as the right. And this might very well be the only figure, too, that will give you, like, total of three with only giving you one option on the left instead of the right, right? You would think pointing area, yeah, and that's not how we're doing it. I do like the scan. I want to bring up a comparison because I feel like this one, I don't know. I think the, the darker tone on all these figures, it's just really benefiting the overall likeness. Like, this one... I don't know, seeing it side by side, this actually sits a little bit higher compared to some of the other figure releases that we have seen here by Jazzwares. But I like the black hair a little bit more, man. Maybe because I can actually relate to it, or maybe because, no, that's as far as the head scan goes down. So again, sitting on there a little bit high, and it's almost looking like a Jazzwares figures on a Mattel, but it's not. <laughs> it's the same thing. Look, same thing with the torso. Lighter bits, darker tone, Kenny Omega, and the camera's not quite picking it up as opposed to when you actually do see it in hand, but you really get the difference right there with the torso. I mean, you could do a torso swap, but yeah, this is something you don't want to necessarily have to do with your brand new figures, but you could easily slot this torso on over here. That way you guys can see what we're talking about. But again, it's going to be something that you'll see once you actually get the figure in hand. I love the bright blue. This is kind of like if we were to have a fantasy tag team match right here between Kenny Omega and AJ Styles Ultimate Edition figure, that'd be perfect, man. 
will have that matchy matchy. This is kind of what it reminds me of. Yes, the AJ year did have more of like a white accent to it, but nonetheless, Kenny Omega definitely bringing some serious heat right there with these kick pads. Almost has like that Sub Zero effect, right? With the solid blue up front and then the black right. Woo, there you have it. For those that wanted to make a Sub Zero Jazzwear figure, I know we're not waiting right there for freaking Storm Collectibles. So, again, great opportunity. I got to give it an 8.5, man. I think that's being a little bit generous, but nonetheless, pretty damn cool. I want to do the Bucks next. I feel like these two, I love the bright orange, man. I'm a huge young Bucks fan. So, bringing the Bucks to a freaking Bucks party, we're doing it, man. And look, nonetheless, even though that these gears right here bring something very special to the table, these right here, as far as like, Favorite gears of all time. Feel like the blue, man. I'm a huge fan of the color red and the color blue. Scale right there. Yeah, pretty damn good. But it's going to be the updates on the scans. I feel like the bearded look right here on both of these is going to give these definitely just one little bonus from what the actual unveiled, what they were going to do right there with the figgies. I love the bandanas. I like the matchy-matchy. I like how Matt's kind of has it drooping over. And then we got Nick right there with the buntail. Love it. Huge fan of that. Love the way that it's coming through, especially on the back end. Do you like how the belt is already displayed? Like, if you were keeping this mock, that's always better. I feel like when you have, like, the tag team titles right there on the side of the packaging as opposed to the figures, bro, it kind of turns them down. I mean, that's for the mock collectors. As far as, like, loose collectors, it really doesn't matter, but it gives you a really nice advantage. Look at that design, you guys. Like, Jazzwear, no shorty cuts. Well, maybe a little bit over here on the left side, but as far as, like, getting all that detail... Of when they actually wore the tights. Look at that. Even the freaking sneakers. Who said that they weren't going to do it? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you. <laughs> the Elite never said they weren't going to do it. We got Young Bucks. I almost said King Kong. But it almost kind of has like that King Kong kind of like, uh, what is it called? Font style on the lettering. But yes. No, it says Young Bucks here. There's no damn King Kong Bundy over here. The only thing we're getting is bright on orange on all orange. And the belts too. These torsos will be matching right there as far as the actual like lower half extremities. That Jazzwares tried bringing these right there to its hole. And again, the belts do come off really easy. They are undone through the backside. But again, there's not much that you're missing. I feel like if they'd thrown in a shirt, that would have been pretty cool. As far as interchanging hands, you do get quite a bit. So I guess that's one up. We get uh, Mike open for Matt. And then for the Nick, the main difference is going to be the black strap. You're going to get that solid black strap on both hands. Pretty cool. Love the figures. Actually, it's only on the right. Left has no tape. But yes, I'm still giving these a clean 9.3. These two are looking solid. And Adam Cole, baby! And I know you guys are waiting for the first time in the actual Jazzwear line, apart from Edge. But dude, look at this belt. You want to talk about options? This guy came with a tons of options. We got signature pose for the hands. We got mic open. We got it the pre-pose right there with the thumbs up. And then you got right there, Jeff Jarrett, two in the pink, none in the brown. Adam bringing some damn heat with that brand new belt. Bro, I'm going to take it off this belt. I got to show you guys something really cool. Jazz wears right here, taking it to the next step. Literally not just in the front, but also on the actual strap. So if you guys like Heart Foundation, if you guys are all about Canadian style of wrestling, this belt right here, very critical and very important when it comes to the history of good old Canada. Blame Canada. They're not even though say it here, fix, you'll get canceled. Look, we ain't watching South Park right now, but if you guys know the song, you damn know well the song. And you know Adam Cole, QC, up front, right there. Right next to the A, right underneath the C, bringing some Q, C. I like the lightning bolt. I like the tight design. I like the whole effect that they got going on. This is very devoted, bro, to the Heart Foundation. Like, this is just beautiful. I feel like Owen would be proud. I feel like Jim Anvil would be proud. I feel like the whole fam, dude, would just be united right here with this cool AC Adam Coe. Baby, I got to give him a nine, even an even nine. And that's being pretty generous, given the fact that we're missing a couple of things. Now, let's get in here. Kyle O'Reilly bringing some very pasty, very pale looking fig ski. And I know the guy is pasty, but I'm telling you, this figure, it's uh, pasty to a whole new level. We got Mike open on the figure and then we got closed fist that you can swap out. Now, as far as the upper half. The main accent, it's going to be the signature tattoo right there, right underneath the armpit. Nothing much going on. Solid black tights. We're getting the, the actual boots right there with the sculpting located on the backside, which typically sometimes we've seen this painted on, not by Jazzwares, but by other toy companies. So nice to see that they actually incorporated that within the kick pads. Love the knee pads too. That 
KO, I know Kevin Owens would be proud. I feel like he would be a little foot in a big foot pond, and I feel like Adam Hangman Page would be like, Adam Cole, baby! I don't know, you guys. I feel like the pastiness, it's going to retract from my overall rating within the figure. I got to give him an 8. Ranking number 1, without a doubt, though, oh, man, I don't know. It's kind of a toss-up. I feel like these two are going to be tied right here with number 1. And normally, I wouldn't put the Young Bucks located in number 1, but this bright orange gear, mwah, love it. Number two, I gotta give it to, yeah, we gotta give it to Edge, bro. And I know that's not his name, but that's what I know him by. That's what we're gonna call him here. And Kenny, you're gonna be fine. Now, psych, 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 we got Adam, then Kenny, and then Kyle O'Reilly. I hate to put him at the bottom, bro, but look at this. Like, I know Kenny, Kenny's not one of the, like, the most tan looking lads, but side by side, bro, he's like, what the hell are you doing? WHF Universe, give us your thoughts. Let us know what your favorite figure is in the set. Which ones you plan on picking up? Which ones you're going to hold up on? Or are we just going strictly for the rated R superstar? On this day, I see clearly. We'll see you on the next one. And I'm not.